Hi everybody, it's Rio Clouds Inc. In today's session, we'll be focusing on the Microsoft Enter ID governance license Microsoft have announced. First things first, if you access the Microsoft Enter admin console via navigating to entra.microsoft.com, and on the left hand side, if we can navigate to identity governance, expand, and select dashboard. With that, you may or may not have noticed, if you are a global administrator or a global reader, that there is now a policy tip in the identity governance dashboard. It states the following, license requirements for preview capabilities that have recently gone generally available have changed. Access to these capabilities will be limited after September the 30th, 2023. These capabilities require the new Microsoft Enter ID governance license. So let's first understand the, the four to five tiers of licensing Microsoft Enter ID natively provides. If I also navigate to the uh, licensing site, if we scroll down, you'll see there's four different licenses, five in total, one is, one is not displayed on this screen. So if we look at Microsoft Enter ID, we have a free tier of Azure Active Directory, now known as Enter ID Licensing. This provides you the likes of security defaults as well as application-based multi-factor authentication. We also have Microsoft Enter ID P1, which is a step up from the Microsoft Enter ID free license. This provides you your service level agreements, uh, your conditional access, your continuous access evaluation, okay? So the issuing of long life tokens and revoking of long life tokens, self-service password reset for your end users to reset their own password, as well as application proxy and much more. There's, there's another step up from Enter ID 2 P1, which is now P2 which provides you the additional capabilities such as identity protection, okay? With the risk-based policies within conditional access, okay? And on the other half, the governance capabilities which the P1 didn't provide you, like, like privilege identity management, for example, access reviews, and entitlement management. Let's, let's just reiterate. With the new Microsoft Enter ID governance license being available, it's not taken away from the Enter ID 3, Enter ID P1, or Enter ID P2. It's just a new set of cap capabilities they've announced within a new license. With this new license, if we scroll down, you can see that everything in the, in the identity governance SKU is in the P2 SKU uh, with an additional four, four services. If we scroll down under Identity Governance, you'll see now we've got Machine Learning Assisted Access Certifications and Reviews within the Identity Governance SKU, Entitlement Management with Verified ID, Lifecycle Workflows, and the Identity Governance Dashboard. So just to reiterate, nothing's been taken away from the previous SKUs. You, you will acquire four additional services with the Identity Governance SKU. If I was to navigate to the Microsoft Docs, you can compare the features by license from free, Microsoft Enter ID P1, Microsoft Enter P2, and Enter ID Governance. And if we scroll down on the uh, specific features which were added, you can see uh, Entitlement Management plus custom extensions, uh, brackets logic apps, auto assignment policies, uh, we've got sponsors which Microsoft have introduced. Uh, we've got priv privileged identity management um, for PIM for groups, not just uh, roles for Azure AD or role-based access control for Azure. Um, and once again, the machine learning and lifecycle workflows. Something else to take into account is that the identity governance queue do, do not need to be assigned. They just need to marry the amount of heads you've got in your organization. Okay, and with that, they just need to be there on a trust basis alongside the prerequisite SKUs, which is the Enter ID P1 and P2. So into a bit more detail around the, the specifics when we're talking Enter ID P1 and P2. If we were to access the admin portal, we can see that there's Enter ID governance as a standalone, well, an add-on SKU to the Enter ID uh, P1. And uh, we've got a uh, add-on license, uh, which is a step-up license from the Enter ID P2. So from an Enter ID P1 uh, perspective, um, you would purchase the Microsoft Enter ID governance license, okay? 
which will provide you the P2 plus the, the, the uh, P2 functionality as well as the governance features within the identity governance license. If we were looking at, um, if we already had Entra ID P2, for example, then we would just require the governance step up uh, from Microsoft Entra ID P2, okay, which gives us those additional four services um, which reside under the governance um, side of things. With that, once again, these licenses don't have to be assigned. Um, they, they reside in your organization on a trust basis. Other than that, I just thought I would uh, quickly clarify on the, the policy tip we're seeing in this portal here. I've had uh, many people uh, reach out to me asking, uh, you know, what, what's happening in here? Will I lose functionality? No, you won't. Um, if you already purchased a P1 or P2 and you're utilizing the, the functionality within those particular licenses, you're not going to lose out. Uh, Microsoft just having a new SKU, which is an add-on SKU uh, to increase capabilities. Okay, one of which is lifecycle workflows. For example, if you had a new starter and you wanted to automate it, automate the uh, the process of sending out notifications to that new starter, maybe prior to they join, ten days before they join, to say, okay, here's the location, here's where you need to park, here's your access card, um, stuff like that. We've also got the obviously additional capabilities with privileged identity management for now groups. Okay, so we could just do just in time groups. Um, adding and removing the user identities to Z groups, okay. Additional access um, capabilities for access reviews, okay. Um, using the likes of um, um, artificial intelligence and behavioral analytics um, and all that lovely stuff, um, and a few other capabilities in entitlement management, and of course the the identity governance dashboard, which provides you an oversight into your organisation, i.e. Member user lifecycle governance, 18 member user accounts were recently created. So it gives you a bit of insight into what's happening within your your, your, your organization from a governance perspective, i.e. applications with direct user assignments, okay, may or may not be required within your organization. Um, guest user accounts recently been created and also an overall identity governance uh, landscape, okay from both a identity perspective as well as a configuration perspective. Okay. Any questions, please do let me know, but this was just a quick overview on the new Microsoft Entra ID governance license. Thank you very much.